Summer, welcome back. My name is JC, if you haven't seen my face before, and today's video is a bookish week in my life. Now, I often film weekly reading vlogs where I'm updating you guys on what I'm reading throughout the week, but today's video is more like taking you guys along various bookish activities. Today, we're going to an outside shopping center where they have a barns there. I'm pretty sure there is a stationery store, just various stores that I want to browse around in, and there's also coffee shops that I want to sit down, do some reading, and do some work. literally came in here with a list and I think I found a few. I have a list of like new releases and then I have a wish list. A wish list is awfully long but I narrowed it down to what I was looking for today. Okay, I thought going to Barnes on a Monday morning first thing was gonna be the easiest for like filming on top of just browsing in peace. No, I'm convinced kids don't go to school anymore. I'm so convinced. There were so many kids in there on top of just like, where are their parents? Besides me wondering about their education, where are their parents? Like I, the ratio did not make sense. <laughs> And then they also play background music, which is fine, but it just doesn't mix well with filming. So I filmed what I could. Hopefully it was enough for you guys to get the book shopping vibe. But I think I mentioned in one of the clips that I went in with a list. I have a list on my phone of all the like new releases coming out. So I came out like throughout September on top of like the rest of the year. And then I also have this like top of the top for my Amazon wish list that's like these are the books that I'm really interested in now and then the Amazon wish list just like has all the books that I ultimately want to read it's always linked down below because I will add like things that you guys recommend in the comments and stuff so it's just I mean it's never ending that's for sure but like that's the list that I give everyone for like birthdays and Christmases like I can't recommend that enough because it's so easy to just like have someone look at that list and know exactly what to get you or maybe it's like they've read that book and they know now that you want to read it so they'll get it for you it's the best it's it's the best which now that I think about it I need to go update it now that I bought some books because my birthday is coming up in November and I realized that like it may be a little outdated from my last book shopping and then today so I'm gonna go do that. But from the list, I had a few that like Barnes just didn't have. And then I kind of have this mental thing where if it's like $10 or more cheaper on Amazon, yeah, I'm just not in the financial position to skip out on that. So if it was only a few dollars more at Barnes, I went ahead and got it. But if it was like $10 difference, that adds up for me. So we have four books that I bought today. The first one is Stephen King's Mr. Mercedes. It's a trilogy and his newest book, Holly, her character is thrown into this trilogy and you watch her grow throughout that trilogy and then now she has her own book, Holly. So I really wanna read Holly, but I know that I need to go through the trilogy first and then I'll be ready for that book. 
Next I got You Again by what Katie Goldbeck. Yes. I mean, hello. This screams, screams fall. So, very excited to read this one. And then so many people recommended The Housemaid and Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. I put on my Instagram story like, what Frieda McFadden recs do you have? Because I read The Inmate and like now I'm obsessed with her writing. So, so many people said this one, which I have heard of. And then so many people put Never Lie, but Never Lie wasn't at Barnes, which I think was the one I would have wanted to get first. But listen, I'm not going to complain because her writing is so good. And then the last one, I'm so excited. Speaking of Frieda McFadden. Her writing reminds me so much of Alice Feeney's, and so I got Alice Feeney's new release, Good Bad Girl. I am been dying to read this. I've been dying to read this. So normally I would have waited and wanted like a paperback, but I'm here for it. I can't wait until a paperback comes out like next June or something. It's insane. Okay, that's my book haul. Guys, I feel like it was so successful, and I just had so much fun browsing around in there. Like, I could just spend all day in a Barnes. I swear, there's so many books. There's so many books. Okay, we need to head to the library because Killer Instinct was technically due Saturday. So it's two days overdue. I just finished it yesterday. I loved it. That series is so good. And I also have my Alice Feeney book to return. So I don't think I have any holes to pick up. I hope not because I have four books checked out right now. So I need to really get through those this week. But that's what we're going to go do. Let's do it. Okay, it's the next day and I wanted to go ahead and open up a package I got from a new author. He had reached out and like emailed me saying that he was a new author and thought maybe I would like his book. He said it's the perfect transition from like uh, summer to fall. There we go. That's that's the order. And so I was very excited. This is why Amazon wish lists are so clutch because I could just add his book to my Amazon wish list. It's public and then send him the link and he just sent it to me that way. Like genius. Welcome to Sunnyville. I really hope you have a lot of fun reading this book and hopefully you grow to love the characters too. Have a wonderful fall from J.H. Hastings. That's just so cool. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's like a soft, soft mat. Oh, look at the cover of this. Like that's just so precious and i just got done reading books one through four from harry potter so the train it's i'm biased the train it's cute okay i'm sorry if you can hear all the like landscapers going on outside but i'm gonna go ahead and read the back of this so it says rosemary imagined how terrifying that night must have been all those years ago how the town must have been flooded in the orange and red flickering of the burning mansion Rosemary couldn't imagine how something so horrifying and so violent could have happened in such a nice place. She always thought Sunnyville had such an idyllic and peaceful atmosphere, but at night the town seemed to change unexpectedly, cast in a world of shadow and moonlight. Was there truly still some evil secret buried deep below the town in the dirt and the ashes of the burned down old Mariel Mansion? Could the horrors and the madness of the terrible night somehow live on in Sunnyville? Rosemary gave one final shudder and then turned on her heel and hurried quickly inside the church. Interesting. He said it's set in 1962 and it's just like a mystery thriller. So, oh, we'll see how it is. I'm excited to read this just because... I don't know, I like to read books that I haven't heard about before, you know, like obviously I love getting recommendations, but at the same time, it's so nice to just find a book that no one's talked about. So I'm excited to give this a read. And then the other thing I wanted to do this morning was update my uh, September like spread. So if you haven't seen, I don't have a reading journal. I will starting January 1st. It's going to happen. But I've been using my my plans and goals journal to just kind of practice different layouts that I like for monthly spreads. So currently, I just have like a list of the books that I'm read and then books bought, my fall TBR, content I want to be making, and various stats that I'll fill out at the end. So I just need to update this because I've read some books and I haven't updated the spread. Okay, I just finished updating everything. So I just filled out 
all of the different books that I've read so far and what I gave as ratings. And then, let me make sure, yep. And then filled out the books that I got just from going to Barnes a couple days ago. Then I marked off from my fall TBR what I've read. So, I think we're good. That feels so good and this looks so cute so far. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna carry on with my day, but I'll check in with you guys later. It's Friday now and I don't have work today, so I just wanted to take the day to do various personal tasks and to do, you know, get some planning and get some organization in. So I just figured I would take you guys along with me the entire day. I also want to mention that today, my first episode of my Read and Watch series came out. It is the Harry Potter Part 1, which I worked so hard on over the last month, so it means so much to me if you would check it out. But I had so much fun making that video. So it's a series that I'm going to be doing where I'm reading the book and then watching the TV show or movie adaptation. And the way I at least structured this first video was I read the book, I watched the movie, and then I discussed the various changes that I noticed between the two, mainly that kind of changed plot lines, not necessarily like, wow, the color of Harry's shirt was blue in the book and it's red in the movie. Like, no, that's not important, <laughs> but various changes that I found relevant. Now, this one was a spoiler video. I don't know how I'll do all of them, but I figured Harry Potter is just so well known and everything that... It was going to be really hard to discuss a lot of the stuff and like try to just not make it a spoiler reading experience. So check it out if you want, but I had so much fun making that. That was just such a different experience for me because I am usually not someone that reads the book and then watches the movie. Like I watched the movies and then I just got into reading over the last few years. So okay, I packed my bag. Let's go get some work done. There might be a bit of paper left under the pool of coffee. Try to remember what I wrote and you just laugh We better have a talk Think it might last until it's dark When the candlelights are out I really think it's goodbye just got back and my nails are looking ready for spooky season so always love getting my nails done but as you guys saw when I was at Starbucks I did some actual work for like my job but then I tackled the various things that I was hoping to get done today so I worked on setting some goals for October I love journaling every day so I did go ahead and get that done this morning and then the big thing was Notion. Oh, that was so good to just like sit there and do some mindless tasks, honestly. But I really need to update the page where I list all the things that I've read. So I only had one book left to do for August, but then I had the entirety of September to do. So the way I do it, I just go and grab all of the covers for the book so that way I can insert that. It's easier if you do it ahead of time. I didn't really check so I had to go back and get a few as I was filling it out. But then I just go through and I update the ratings that I gave and I don't include any half ratings or 0.75 or whatever. I have it written down but I just keep it as the like one, two, three, four, five system in there. Like it's just easier for me and then I can make notes if I want to later on. And then I just go through and add the genre, all of the things. It was so fun to do that. And then I went ahead and updated from my summer reads to my top five fall reads. I love doing that. I even updated my banner. So that, like, I don't know, just gave it a little fall refresh. And then at the bottom, so this template originated from Just Alley on, well, book talk I'm sure but then booktube and bookstagram she had this template and I took it and then I kind of just like changed it to work for what I was wanting but the bottom section I just hadn't even looked at or even played with and it was kind of the things like oh your top five of the year books that made you cry new authors and then like she had pictures in there just kind of book aesthetic photos and so I went ahead and updated that as well and just filled out a couple of those categories that worked for me. I don't know, it was just 
it was so enjoyable. It was kind of cooler today, so I was just like sitting there in my big sweater and working on Notion. I don't know, it just felt so nice. I actually didn't really get that much reading done because I started to focus so much on Notion once I realized that's what I wanted to spend my time doing. So <laughs> there's that. Hopefully this evening I can read some more. I just had such a nice time at Starbucks, honestly. That was so, so fun. Usually I can't spend hours and hours there because I end up running out of tasks or I just want a break or whatever. But I had this gap where I was waiting to go to my nail appointment. So I was just like, we got to get stuff done. And Notion was the perfect task for that, honestly. So it's now four o'clock. I don't exactly know what I plan to do right now. I think I just want to kind of take a deep breath, chill out, calm down, and we'll, we'll see what we get up to. Today is the 30th of September and usually I film my like, monthly reading wrap ups on the last day of the month and then post it the following day. But because the first of the month is on a Sunday, I don't know, just something about it is messing with my head and I'd rather just post it on Monday like I usually do with my videos, Mondays or Tuesdays depending on what the video is. And so I figured I'm just going to film my reading wrap up tomorrow which allowed me to finish my last book of the month today under the influence and I was actually thinking of just keeping it for the reading wrap up tomorrow but technically this book is due back to the library today and I have two holds to pick up which I would like to have for my video tomorrow because they're going to be a part of my October TBR so I think we should just go ahead and head to the library now and return this and pick up my holds. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to let the hair do what it's doing, but I just got back from the library so I want to show you guys the books that I checked out. The first one is The Sinister Booksellers of Bath, which is the second book after The Left-Handed Booksellers of London. So I talk about it in my reading wrap-up, but I also did, I think, read it in like two of the weekly reading vlogs. Like I started it right at the end of one and read it in the next one. So I really love the first book. It's just such a fun read. So I saw that the second book just came out literally in June. Okay, so I was like within a couple months and I don't know if there's supposed to be more books for this world, but I'm excited to just read the second one. The next one is Pomegranate by Helen Elaine Lee. I honestly, I don't remember what this book is about, but I remember like seeing someone's review on it or something on Instagram and I was like, okay, sold. But right now I don't remember what it is, so I'm just gonna probably try to go in as blind as I can. It's also a new book. It came out in June sometime I think. Then I saw that they had the Housemaid's Secret which I was just surprised to see. I did look if my library had any more Freedom McFadden books at least just like available right then there. I didn't see any so I mean she's popping off. I was just hoping to get through like her backlist so I want to work on that. I'll probably place some holds but I bought the Housemaid in this video actually so I figured I would snag this while I can. It was actually available as a surprise so I'm excited to probably just try to read these pretty close together in the month of October. Okay, and this last one is similar to The Housemaid's Secret, but it is Finders Keepers by Stephen King. It is a part of a trilogy, and in this video, I also bought Mr. Mercedes. That's the first book in that trilogy, and it all leads up to Stephen King's latest release, Holly. So I really want to read Holly, therefore I got to read the trilogy. So I have the first book and now I have the second. So I'm going to definitely try to prioritize these in October. The fact that I have them, I'm just happy. Okay, those are the books that I checked out today. Now I'm going to take you guys along with me tomorrow as well. Just kind of giving you guys the behind the scenes of a reading wrap up and just preparing for that and everything. So that will be our last day of filming this video and I'm just kind of glad that I'm able to show you guys the various bookish things like fun bookish things but then also various like behind the scenes I guess of different posts and videos in the making and things like that so it's been fun so far but I'll see you tomorrow to wrap up this video and to film our September reading wrap up good morning <laughs> it's now Sunday and my hair is looking like this because I woke up about 45 minutes ago and 
just curled my hair so that it could set while I do all the things I need to do prior to actually filming my reading wrap up. So I do have a list on my phone of various things, but I think the main things I wanted to show you guys as well was... I need to actually make a list of my October TBR because I do have an entire fall TBR, but that's kind of books that I want to read like September through November, but there's certain books that's like, oh, I really want to read that in the month of October because like spooky season and whatever. So that's one thing. I also do have a list on my phone for my September reads and I just like list them out by like book author rating and I want to make sure like that's all set and I have any additional notes that I need. Because I do like to give a short synopsis of each of the books. So I just want to make sure like I remember and, and I'm thinking about what each of those books were. And then the last thing that I need to do is grab all the books that I still have with me. So a couple of them, like you saw, I returned to the library this week. But I do have other books. So I just need to make sure all the physical books that I need for my reading wrap up, I have. And they're out, ready to go. Okay, I just got ready. And I went ahead and grabbed the books that I read this month that I physically have. I grabbed all of my library books because obviously those need to be read this month and then a few different books that like I just have on my physical TBR so to speak. So I am going to go ahead and get to filming this reading wrap up. Of course I have to go get a Starbucks drink before. If you know, you know I have to get my matcha or something in order to film my reading wrap up. So I'm going to go run and do that and then I'll film my wrap up. But I want to go ahead and end this video. So I hope you enjoyed just going along and bookish a week in my life, seeing the various behind the scenes of what I actually do on this channel on top of just doing a couple bookish activity things. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.